All right, I've had a, a couple of requests from two different viewers. Um, they were interested in the, um, it's hard for me to show, I can show one of them. They, one of them was interested in the um, little power meter, the power meter, power, power, uh, uh, power supply that I, that I have. It's the, the little one with the LCD panel in the front. Wait for it to boot up here. You know this one, if you remember that one. I put it in a box, so it's, it looks pretty now. And uh, so, yeah, that one. So one of the persons uh, was interested in using this for, with a ham radio, I think, and they were curious about what if there was any R, uh, uh, RFI interference coming from this. And all switcher supplies have RFI, so yeah, that's usually a bad thing. Um, another person was very interested in the battery module that I looked at that was... Uh, it used these, uh, what are these, 18, 18 650 batteries, and it, it was a charge and, and, and conversion. It made 12 volts automatically and everything. They were interested if that caused any RFI issues. Well, guess what? This is now self-contained. It's got that uh, battery module in it, and it's got the power supply unit in it, so I can test both. Um, and they're both together, so I really can't tell you one from another, but uh, it is what it is. I'm not going to take it apart and measure them individually. So there's a 50 ohm load on the uh, output, so I can I can uh, turn it on. Well, I mean, it is on. Okay, so uh, how do you measure EMI? Uh, I have a video um, you, where I make some RFI probes. Uh, this is one where there's a, a loop with a gap in it. Uh, so... Uh, these are to be used with amplifiers, and so I'm going to use my, it's kind of behind my microscope now, I'm going to use my little uh, amplifier there uh, that I've shown before, and I'll use my new spectrum analyzer, so there we go. So how do you use these probes? Well, you run it into an amplifier, so I've got a 30 dB gain amplifier, and then when you hold up the probe next to something that's RFI noisy, you'll see it on the spectrum. Well. Unfortunately, it picks up everything, so it's picking up all of the radio stations locally. But if I move it towards the CRT, I think you can see the noise level noise level goes up there. Um, and so how do we know if we're seeing what? So what we're going to do is we're going to um, do a max hold, okay? And so... Um, we're going to do it on. Uh, we're going to do it on the B channel. That may turn off the A channel, so we're going to do it on the on the B channel. Okay, so we're kind of. This is all the radio station stuff. This is all the all that stuff that's normal. Okay, so I'm going to hold that, uh, and I'm going to blank it. And I'm going to go to normalize function and go back and so now uh, that line is uh, let me move that uh, the, let me move the line down um, we'll put it down here at the bottom okay so that line now is all of the stuff that's normally there. So anything goes above that line, anything goes above that line, see, then we know that's RFI. So uh, obviously CRTs will output a lot of RFI. So we're sweeping between um, uh, hmm, what are we sweeping between frequency. Uh, we want to do start frequency of zero and a stop frequency of, let's say, 500. No, let's see, it's, yeah, let's see 500 megahertz. That's fine. 500 megahertz. Okay. Um, so you can see that, oh, we're getting a whole bunch of stuff here. Okay. But for the most part, there's some um, RFI sneaking off the sides here, but you use the probe to, uh, to, 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 to look at things. So let's see if we can look at an iPhone. So uh, how do I get this all on the screen? Let's see here. So there's the iPhone. So if I try to uh, sniff the iPhone, you can see that it's got some stuff coming out of it. 
Yeah, there's a whole bunch right over there. That's over by the volume knob. So a lot of times when there's openings in the case, that's where it sneaks out. And so, yeah, so your iPhone is outputting all kinds of stuff. And uh, so let's uh, sniff, uh, let's sniff this thing. I'll try to get it in the picture. Uh, let's see, let me, all right, I think that's pretty good. So uh, you can see this thing is awfully noisy. Here's the front of the instrument. Uh, obviously, you know, the metal case keeps things out, but uh, the front, the front is very, very noisy, all the way up to around 400 megahertz, so look at that, all kinds of nasty stuff. Let's turn it on, it's not even operating. So here is uh, 5 volts at 0.1 amps. It didn't really change, the, so the display's not going to change, but the back's probably going to display. So let me uh, sniff around on the back. Um, and here, I'll turn it around so you can see. Can you see that? Yeah, you can see that. All right. So I'm going to sniff around here on this resistor. Look at that. Wacky, wack, wacky. Uh, where are those humps? One of the humps is around... Um, 135 megahertz, and the other hump is around 220 megahertz. Great. <laughs> anyway, so you can see, uh, yeah, switchers are switchers are noisy. If we go between, let's say, we want to do low frequency stuff, we'll go frequency uh, start at 3 megahertz and stop at 30 megahertz. So 3 to 30, my, my cow's bit off, but you can kind of see that it's actually pretty, uh, ooh, the front, the front's bad, but the back's not bad. So I would say that the actual, you, know, you can see some there, you, you, you'll have to, uh, you'll have to kind of imagine where, where the cow is. Well, let's go ahead and do a cow. It's easy to do. Cal, trace B, hold B, do the cal, view B, blank B. Oh, I gotta turn normalize off first. Normalize off. Uh, something's not right. Nothing's not right. Normalize is off. Oh, we're on A. One beyond B. Oh, okay. And we'll do a max hold. We'll do a view. Blanket, go over here. Turn on normalize. We'll go back. We'll go to A. Okay, there we go. So we're normalized now. So everything under the line is normal. And if we go above the line, that's bad. So yeah, so the front of the instrument is very noisy. And the the actual power supply itself isn't too bad. Uh, if we get right on it. So, you know, the problem with evaluating power supplies is, is it's, it's direct coupled to your radio, right? So I've got my probe right next to that load resistor. Um, and so, you know, that is going somewhere. So it probably will get in your radio unless you can put a big filter on it. I've seen some switching supplies used with radios with big, big filters, but I always like analog. I want linear analog supplies for my radio, so. Anyway, uh, I thought you'd be interested in uh, doing RFI probing, seeing seeing what's available. We can probe the uh, probe the spectrum analyzer at three, 3 to 30. It looks pretty clean. Oh, what was that? Something over there. Uh oh Something right, something right in there. It's interesting, huh? It's very, very accurate for where you can pinpoint things. So these are great for locating what's going on. Anyway, um, I know that's not gonna answer all your questions. Uh, would I use this on a radio? Uh, probably not, unless I had a really, really big filter for it.